Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. If I look like I'm half asleep, exhausted, sick on my deathbed, um, it's because I am. I do not feel that great right now. I've been really busy the last couple of days um, with... Baseball was in the facility yesterday for like eight, nine straight hours doing work with guys. We've got a player up from Atlanta, um, so we're doing a lot of hitting work and some fielding stuff with him. I've got a bunch of our players coming in, and so we're kind of getting back into it. We had a little bit of a lull in September. The season kind of ended. Uh, we've got a little bit of fall ball going on, but this week is a jam-packed week. And for some reason, last night... After a long night of, of baseball, I could not fall asleep. I just laid in my bed all night, and uh, it was like 2 a.m. I fell asleep for a little bit, kept waking up every like 20, 30 minutes, and then I did it again, looked over, the clock said 6, and I was like, I'm just going to get up and go try to hit some baseball. So that's where we are right now. I want to do a, an hour episode. We're going to see how far we can get through this, plus my kids, who knows when they'll be getting up. So we'll, if I can get the hour, I'll do it. I may not sniff a baseball, okay, because I really can't see straight. I feel like I'm back in AAA. I feel, this feels a little bit more like Pacific Coast League than it does International League. I feel like I just woke or I never went to bed, all right? I feel like I've told that story before where basically you finish a game late, you just stay up, you get on the bus at like 3.30 in the morning, drive to the airport, get on a flight, go to a connecting flight, get to... The city you're playing in, go play a game. That's what I feel like right now, okay? So we're trying to make this as realistic as possible. What else do we have? Um, I fixed all the stuff, so we should be good. I have it on the correct difficulty, um, so we're good there. And uh, we're going to do a couple shout-outs in a minute. Oh, my jersey. So today... Um, I just went with an Antonelli baseball, one of our jerseys, and I went with a hat that's a couple sizes too big for me, but I'm going to throw it on anyway, so we'll go with that. Also, I've had a couple people being like, man, you are really harsh on Richie and Kyle, and you know, you're just acting like a big leaguer and you're still in the minor leagues. Well, here's my thought with that, okay? I've already gone through this process in real life, and I was, you know, I tried to be a nice guy. I am a pretty nice guy. You know, I was a nice guy, okay? Didn't ruffle any feathers, was nice to everybody, and look where that got me. That got me sitting in my basement playing Road to the Show with eye black on, okay? And so second time around, I'm going to be a D-bag, all right? I'm not going to be a nice guy to these freaking other guys that can't hit anyway, all right? So that's how we're going to be. It's like Rube Baker from Major League Two, Okay, you're standing on the tracks and the train's coming through, butthead. Okay, get out of my way. I'm going to the major leagues. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, shout outs. Let's give a couple, then we're going to play. Okay, first shout out. This is actually an email shout out. All right, it's, uh, it's from Dave from Orchard, from Port Orchard, Washington. He told me to use Strike Zone 2. And that basically saved me from being sent back down to single A. Now we're up in triple A. So thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. I definitely hit better with it. I hope I don't jinx myself. All right. And uh, let's go a couple more. We've got, okay. I watch these videos while playing World of Warcraft. I wonder if Matt knows that there's a random guy out there watching these videos at 3.30 a.m. grinding in whatever land you grind in in World of Warcraft. All right. Actually, my, uh, one of my best friends in college, Brian Shoes, called him Shooter, played World of Warcraft every day. I used to watch him play. I uh, never played, so I don't know much about the game. But I was a Worldcraft, uh, Warcraft fan, not World of Warcraft, but that's a long time ago. That was back when I was younger. Uh, and one more before we play, Robert Miller. You said, first baseman runs 90 feet towards Matt. Matt stands there, for, stands there three feet from the base and gets picked off with a bunch of crying faces. Um, so a lot of people have been laughing at that. I think I was so distracted by that guy running at me that I didn't even look at my guy and realize I was off the base. I've never seen that before in all my years of baseball. I've never seen a first baseman get a pickoff throw and then decide to sprint 75 feet at me and then throw me out at third base. So I was a little taken off guard there. All right, let's play the game. So I'm in the seven hole. Um, so first off, we got to do maybe a little bit of research. How many of these guys are real and how many of these guys are fake on my team? I don't want to rip a, a real guy too, too bad. Unless he's just horrendous, then I'm probably going to rip him anyway. But let's figure out who's real and who is fake. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. 
If you guys know this team at all or know players from the White Sox organization, if you're from Chicago or maybe from Charlotte, let me know which players in there are actual real people because I don't know any of them. All right. I'm really interested to see how this goes because I can't see straight. The game's future stars are on I'll probably the rake. 32 and 41. First 31 and 42. All right, two bottom dwellers going head to head right here. Going to try to be a little bit less crazy on the bases. I say that, and I'll get picked off three times today. All right, hitting 500. Okay, we got a two seam, a slider, a four seam, and a change up. More like, like a two seam slider guy, which is usually tough to hit, but we'll see how good this guy is. Two outs, man on third. Just got to get a hit here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ah, I was no late on that. Didn't change any of my guys' stuff. I know some people said put your pants back down and stuff. I was honestly, I wanted to. It's too tired to remember to do it. Well, Matty, if this isn't a microcosm of how bad this team's been struggling yeah. lately. Got me to roll over there on a little, probably a slider or something. Pitch selection. Not going to drive that. Too tough of a pitch. All right, we're up 3 nothing. Our team, I don't know how we're under 500. We crushed. We must not be able to pitch to save our lives. Get over there, Matt. Come on. Good turn. Right, let's go hit. Nope. Blake Trahan. First and third. One out. Big double play right here. Got to turn this. Get out of the inning. Come on. Ah, too slow. Wow, took me out there. Jeez, that flashbacks right there. I used to, when I moved to second base, because I was never a second baseman in college. I played like a couple games there. I was a third baseman. Went into college at shortstop. Never played short once. Um, when I got moved to second base in the minor leagues, I didn't know how to play. How much defense are we going to play here? Uh, I used to just throw the ball and stand there and get destroyed. Like, destroyed. And I used to think I was tough. Flip it to second. Flip it to second. I used to think I was tough. But I was just an idiot. I was getting killed every play. I just throw it, boom! And then I finally figured kind of how to get out of the way. Oh, well, you saw Maddox in that last video I threw up. Try to take me out. Yeah, see that second pitch right there? That's on the black. I'm not going to do anything with that. All right. Can you go same combo, slider again? No, he went fastball again. I'm a little bit late on that. I wasn't really sitting slider there, but I was kind of expecting him to go. Get over his head. Get over his head. Ah! Warning track power. Hit the weight room. Got to lift the weight and hit his... Or, yeah, lift the weight. Eat a steak. Come on. I don't even know the situation. Oh, bounced off his leg. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, who cares if he's okay? We've got like 13 more of those guys. Okay. What do we got here? First and second. I gotta wake up. Wake up, Matt. Check the situation. One out, first and second. We got a lefty on the mound here. Likes his four seam. And then nothing really else. He's more of a fastball. Let's sit fastball early. Big situation. 3-3 three, three score. The head out, Matt. Went two seam. Oh, there's two seam at the bottom there. I didn't see that for some reason. No, oh, Matt. Matt. They can't fail the triple A either. Are you going to give me a hit on that? Oh my god, they gave me a hit on that. That's not a hit. That needs to be that, that, that If our 12U team misses that play, I'm like, i freaking make that play. I didn't even take a lead there. I almost forgot to get back. 
Alright, on the ground I gotta go, in the air I'm off half, or halfway. Halfway, Matt. Oh, he's tagging. He must know that, oh, he knows it's gonna get caught. Matt! Shit, I pressed down instead of up. Honestly, right there, like, tagging up, now with two outs. I'm almost in the same situation. I've got a lot of speed, I'm gonna score in a single anyway. I mean, I should've ran. Guy caught on the warning track. Strike to begin the at -bat. It's oh, I messed up my eye black. Damn it. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A good pitch there on Why am I not stealing? This guy's got a huge leg kick. I know there's two outs, and I would I would typically not steal with two outs. Although, first and second, we can both get in scoring position. I'm running. Two looks. Did you guys see that jump? I just stole standing up. Two looks, I knew he wasn't going to take look a third time. So once he turned his head on two looks, I was off. And we scored two, Matt. That is good baseball. Help. Let's coach him up. Down, down. Matt. Listen, when you score there and you know another runner's coming, you got to turn around and tell the guy, down, up, right, left, tell him where to slide. He can't see the ball. It's behind him. It's not behind him, but yeah, it's kind of behind him. My God, Matt. So I got yelled at. I got called out by a big league, a, a very big league veteran. I've never told anyone who this is before, but I'll, I'll tell you right now. No, just go one, 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 one. Thank you. Not two. What are you saying, controller? One. Not getting out there. So there, I got to be the guy's eyes. I'm coming to second base, right? I'm peeking, seeing where the guy is, and I'm letting the shortstop know to throw it one, even though some, my controller said two. That guy should be cut, too. Four seam, sweeping curve. I got to tell you my Matt Stair story. Somebody remind me. Four seam, sweeping curve, change up, sinker, slider. Guy has everything. Okay, we're up by a lot. He's probably going to attack me. He should with a fastball early because this run means nothing. And he goes breaking ball. That's good. That's why you take it. Yeah, I know it's right down the middle, but it's a breaking ball. And I'm not... Oh, I should have looked at that. He likes his curveball the most. Doesn't like anything else. I should have been sitting breaking ball right there. No way. Matt. My guy has speed. First of all, the guy misses like a routine one this way, and then he pulls an Arenado. But I got to beat that ball right there. Anyways, let me tell you this story quick. I've told this story a long time ago on my channel, but I never really said who it was. It was Matt Stairs. I didn't get to know Matt Stairs very well. He was a veteran player, very veteran player when we had when he was with us. And um, I got to play with him in big league spring training. But when I got called up to the actual big leagues, he was no longer on the team. So we're playing a spring training game. And uh, somebody hits a ball. I don't even remember who it was. And we had a man on second, I think it was. And it went to right field or went to like down the right field line, I think. I can't even remember what the hell happened now. It's too early. But anyways, I didn't think there was going to be a play at home. And something happened. I think a guy kind of booted it. Ball got away or something. And we scored. And he was going to score, like, somewhat easily. But as an on-deck hitter, right? So the guy hits it. As the on-deck hitter, I'm supposed to go to the plate. And I'm supposed to let them know. Down, up, left, right, whatever. And I kind of, I didn't fall asleep. But I didn't think there was going to be a play at the plate. And then when I finally did realize that, you know, maybe there's a play at the plate, I got over there. Now, I wasn't, like, right up on the plate, but I was going that way. And I think I just yelled, like, op, 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 or whatever the hell it was. And uh, so nothing really happened. Guy slides in or stands up. He's safe. And so we're in the uh, clubhouse the next day in the morning, and we're, you know, talking. Buddy Black's doing his normal thing. And uh, Matt Steers calls me out, says, hey, buddy. You know, in front of the whole team, he's like, we had an incident yesterday with this schmuck over here. And he didn't, you know, he didn't coach the base runner. 
And Buddy was like, is that true? And I was like, again, I wanted to be like, well, here's what happened, guys. Uh, but I didn't know if I should really argue with a veteran, Matt Stairs, who's played in the big leagues for like 150 years and had a great career, super successful player. Um, so I was just like, yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, not really, but sure. So I had to eat Vegemite. Vegemite is like, I guess, an Australian peanut butter, kind of. If you're from Australia, let me know. Um, but apparently, people from Australia like it on toast. People from America, in my experience, I've seen people gag. So with the Padres, if you did something bad, they made you. They put Vegemite on a stick and they make you, not a stick, like one of those things you use at the doctor's office, and they would make you eat it. And uh, most guys put it in their mouth and like, and they go and they gag it out in the, in the trash. Um, so I had to go up and have Vegemite because Matt Stairs called me out for that play. And, uh, you know, I actually didn't gag. It doesn't, I didn't think it tasted very good at all. I hear again, if you put it on toast, it tastes good. I have a hard time believing that. Maybe it's an acquired taste, but anyways, let's play another game. I forgot to give some more shout outs. I'll give that in a minute. Carson Fulmer, Carson's up here with me, huh? Carson must have moved up before me because I don't remember him pitching much the last, you know, couple games down in Double A. He's struggling a little bit up here, six and a half. ERA. Well, you've got a stud defender behind you now, Carson. So, all right, four seam, curveball, splitter, slider. This guy loves his off speed. True AAA pitcher. Two outs, man on first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Whoa. Four-seam fastball. That's some cross action, right? That thing looked like it was cutting in on me. How about that splitter or that cutter with no spin from last video? You guys see that? I had to slow that down because I thought I was seeing things. There was no spin on that. Yeah, so this guy's got that ball that looks like it's cutting in a little bit. I got to see something out over the plate here or I'm going to lose my knuckles getting jammed. He's going to throw me a four-seamer right here, right down the middle. I'm going to smash it for a line drive single to center. That was it, but it was a little bit more down. Yeah, it was a little down. I was early on that. Get down, ball. I need this to be a hit. Yes. This is one of those days. I am I'm living this right now. I am back feeling in AAA like I got no sleep. And literally, you are begging. Begging for every hit you can get. Like, you just need a hit. You can't take an over. Alright, we gotta keep it in. We gotta knock the ball down. Keep it in the infield. Man on second base. Right at me. Got all the time in the world. Alright. Let's have a big day right here. Stepping into the box. No matter. Same guy. He doesn't like his four seam, but he was all over the four seam. Let's um let's sit something off speed here. I think he's gonna give me something off speed. Yep. There it is. That was a curveball, but it was more like a tumbling splitter action right there. So not a very tight not tight spin on the on the breaking ball. Now he's gonna come back four seam and I'm gonna Hammer it. Throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Yeah. Not really looking. That's a that's a high pitch right there. I'm not looking for it. What do you do here? You come back with a breaking ball off speed? Yep. I mean, I'm sitting on the right pitch. I timed it up. I smoked it, but I hit it right to him. That's baseball for you. This guy's got to hit the weight room. You're looking pretty skinny. He looks like he's 12, too. Okay. Uh, nobody out. Oh, we got to turn double play here. Tight game here. Need the double play for Carson. Come on. Yep. Taylor made. Beautiful. It's a big double play. Pitcher's best friend right there. 
I told Carson, story is totally different with me at second base now. A little dynamic challenge. Hit a single or better. Power swing for a hit. We haven't power swung in a long time. Let's power swing for a hit. Same guy on the mound here. He's got a lot of off speed last time. I'm all over you, dude. I know what you're doing. Now give me the fastball right here. Come on. Curveball. Falls in there for a strike. It's wow, it's a big sun right there. It's the biggest sun I ever seen. Probably look like something good to hit, but unless you're what do you do now? Back to back breaking ball, double. You can't triple up, can he? That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this. One. Power swing. Yahtzee. Give me the dynamic challenge. He threw that fastball right into my bat. 428. Matt, you keep this up. You might just find yourself in the big leagues very soon. Do I know people? Do I know people here? I don't know anybody here. Matt, we're back at Oak Street Park. How do I not know anybody? Balls crashed. Almost killed that lady right there. All right. Another dynamic challenge. Driving a run. Where's the base runner? I, that would really be helpful if I knew. Only swing at pitches inside the zone and driving a run. That's asking a lot. Swing on time to drive in a run. Let's just drive in a run. Okay, what do we got? First, oh, this is a humongous part of the game right here. So this guy's got a righty, four seam, change up, sweeping curve, two seam is doo doo, and slider is not that great either. So he likes his four seam. And then, I don't really know what else. Now, typically in this situation, this guy's not going to lay a fastball in in this situation. Because I can't, if, he, if I hit a homer with my power, like this guy's not going to give in. So he should be throwing me lots of off-speed. Now, he doesn't like his off-speed that much. So this is an interesting at-bat right here. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball and no strikes. I love this AAA umpiring. This is like big league umpiring right here. So now he tried that rinky dink poopy breaking ball, and now does he come back fastball, which I hammer? Now the 1 0. Drilled to the left side. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Dude, this is AAA, my friend. If you think you're just going to lay fastballs in like that. Oh, are you kidding me? You messed up my dynamic challenge. You can't send him there. He'd be out by 500 feet. You messed up my dynamic challenge, though. Alright. Well, this one's in the bag for them. Let's just make sure we do our job over here, Matt. Right at me. Calmly field it and throw it, Matt. These guys are running hard down the line. We can't lallygag it to first. You lallygag the ball around the infield. You lallygag down the first base. You lallygag in and out of the dugout. You know what that makes us? You. Lallygag. Anyone know what that movie is? I might have messed up a couple words there, but like I said, it's early. All right, three for four. Now, when I went into that game just praying for one hit, and I hit maybe the best I've hit in a long time. If I have to wake up every morning at 6 a.m. on like two hours of sleep, maybe, I'll do it if I'm going to go three for four. Let's check and see if it's recording. So far, so good. Let's see what that, maybe they're calling me up already. Although my dad, well, no, my dad's up. I was going to say I'd have to call my parents and my wife to let them know. And it's pretty early. All right. We're going to Durham. My overall is up to a 68. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Tommy. What do we want, Tommy boy? We're just not getting enough runs across the plate this season. Really, Skip? Come down to double A and see what it's like down there. Try putting Kyle and Richie in your lineup. See how many runs you score then. 
Let's get some more production from our offense. I hope he's not looking my way. It starts with get it starts with getting some runners on base. Wow. That is quite the statement right there. For our little league team. Not so much for guys in AAA. Okay. Tommy, the first thing you can do if you want more run production, you just said the middle lineup is doing absolute dog mess for us. Why don't we move me up a little bit? Aiden struggling, ice cold. I don't know any of these guys, okay? All right, before we get into the next game, let's do a couple more shout-outs, okay? Let's see. Bez, Lama, Yama, I've given you a couple of shout-outs. You got some good stuff. Am I saying your name right? I'm not sure. Imagine if Richie and Kyle skip AAA and go straight to the big leagues. If that happens, there's no chance that happens, okay? Two of the worst players ever. Kyle's not horrendous. He's not that good, but he's not horrendous. Richie is, go is just terrible, okay? Um, but if that happens, I will personally, I will drive to wherever. Where's Sony? I don't even, I can't drive there, right? It's, it's not in this country, okay? But I'm sure there's some type of Sony headquarters somewhere around here. Maybe not the main one, but there's something, okay? I will drive there and fight someone if Richie and Kyle go to the big leagues before I do. If they go to the big leagues at all, okay? Because, like I said, just like the double-A game, if they go to the big leagues, well, then I can't... My grandkids are going to be like, you know what, I'm like, hey, guys, I played in the big leagues. And they're going to say, yeah, who gives a shit? So did Kyle and Richie. And so I can't have that. All right? One more shout-out. Ryan Nappy? Don't forget where you came from when you make it to the bigs. Richie. <clears throat> Rich, I don't talk to double-A players, okay? Especially ones that hit sub-200. So stop commenting in my comment section. All right, let's play. All right. Back up a little bit. What's up, Jerry? Come on. Wow. A lot of flair to that play. You like that, Jerry? Jerry's up in second today. All right, here we go. Lefty on the mound. Likes his forward seam. Likes his cutter. Likes his curveball. Not so much in the changeup. All right. Haven't faced a lot of lefty cutters. Oh, you know who threw one? Man, did I struggle against him. What was his name? Let's see if we can figure this out. He was a lefty. That was like a veteran player, pretty veteran player. Not like a huge big name guy from the big leagues, but played in the big league some. Probably more of a bullpen guy. Played for the Red Sox a little bit. Lefty Cutter. I faced him when he was with Oakland. What was his name? He had a nice cutter, though. I struggled against his cutter, Lefty Cutter. All right, here we go. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. You know, when I think of lefty cutters, I always think of Wade LeBlanc because he had a great four-seam changeup. Best changeup I've ever seen, probably. Hold on one sec. i got to hammer this ball. Going square. Hitting a homer. This guy. Classic. 2-0, triple-A. Throw me a breaking ball. I'm a new man, guys and girls. I'm walking, hitting homer. I mean, I always hit homers, but I'm walking. Steve, what the hell have you been doing on home games? Those splits are like Vegas splits. So, bat bat. Vegas's like home record is usually amazing because when players come in from out of town to Vegas, no one goes to bed. Back, Matt. Little step-off move. Speaking of that step-off move right there, I have so many stories to tell. 
I'm playing against uh, UNC Chapel Hill. Andrew Miller's on the mound, okay? He's a lefty, obviously. And, uh, oh, I could steal on that so easily. Where's that ball? Oh, get going, Matt. Get going. Get going. Get going. Get going. Get going. Slide to the outside. Nice job. Where is the on-deck hitter telling me to slide to the outside? Tommy, coach him up, man. Do I have to be a freaking player coach? Do I have to be Ted Williams? Was he ever a player coach? I don't know. Horrible. I mean, they went out for the double cut, which was nice. Double cut. We got to talk about that, too. I got too many stories. Too many stories. Let me tell you my Andrew Miller story. So I get on first base, and our coach says, hey, he's got a great step-off move here. Great step-off move. Can't get picked. I say, okay, yes, coach. Here's the first pitch to him. Three seconds later, he steps off, picks me off. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one. Felt like an idiot. Work the been super Somehow my base running is worse in Road to the Show. Game, and they've got the lead looking for more. I was just about to say, do you ever throw a fastball, dude? And, it'll fade just and I'm late on. Got a battle. No! Wow! How did I hit that? That thing was a cutter that just kept coming into my hands. I thought that was going to be on the black, and it just kept coming in. If you could throw a good change up here, you get me out, but you can't. Man, that's a good piece of hitting right there. What pitch was that? I don't even know. Down. But I just inside out that thing. Man, this has got me feeling. This is what I felt like when I was with AAA Syracuse. AAA Syracuse playing at Louisville. I went 5 for... Did I go 5 for 5 with two homers? I think it was 5. 4 for 4 or 5 for 5. But everything I swung at just... Nope. I'm gonna get thrown up by a mile. He slid slept. He did a slide step. He got me. He went high leg kick the first step bat a lot, and then he went slide step there. I tried to shut it down again, but I forgot how to. Someone actually said you can't shut it down, you're gonna get thrown out. So what I'm doing as a base stealer on that in real life is I'm stealing, and then the second I see a slide step, I just shut it down. I stop. A video game is not as easy, I guess, to steal and stop. But that's what I'm reading as a base stealer. High leg kick, I just keep running. Slide step, I stop. Matt. Flashbacks to Chuck Knobloch right there for a second. Kind of got up there. Just throw it. Antonelli, he singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take it All right. Single right here. That bad four seam, bad slider, not a great change up, and not a great cutter. This guy, he's got to be like 36. Anyone know who Clifford is? He's got to be like 36, just hanging on. Just mixes it up enough. Absolute righty thumber. Man on second. Nobody out. Crush this guy. First pitch, here it comes. And boy, a high strike. 91 cutter. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen. As you can see there, they're asking a lot of him in this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Stung into the game. Put me in the big leagues, please. This league is too easy. I'm going to show you my speed right here. Thank you, I know. Come on, Stevie boy. How is this guy throwing 91 pitches? And that was my first at-bat against him, right? How did he throw 91 pitches to the eight other guys? Well, and me. I know I didn't sleep well last night, but was that my first time facing him, right? So how the hell did he throw 91 pitches already? And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. I gotta pay attention. There's no outs. He'll try it again. I was off on contact there. A ball and two strikes now. Come on, Steve. The runner at third with no outs. On the ground I'm going here, anywhere, except for back to the pitcher. Tagging in the air. Little chopper back to the mound. 
And that's the first that was the one. Back to the pitcher. I got to read that. I read it beautifully. Now at the plate, Adam Engel. Adam Engel. This guy's real, isn't he? Last time up. Engel. Um. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Now Wait a minute, guys. Deep last time up. We're losing seven to six. Were we just up by a lot? God, I can't remember anything, but I feel like we were up. Get the second. You got to get here. No, two, 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 two. Would have had him. My guy on the controller yells one on that one when I'm yelling two. The last time he's yelling two on the controller when I'm yelling one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Now to the plate. Okay. Dynamic challenge. Only swing at pitches inside the zone and get on base. 100%. Swinging for a hit on time. I got pretty good, pretty good uh, plate discipline today. We're going to go this. Okay, what's this guy? Four seems not good. He likes his slider. He likes his sinker. So he's a sinker slider changeup guy. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Both teams with eight hits in the Oh, we're playing in Durham tonight? I didn't even realize that. Beautiful stadium. And he comes back wow, I thought that was going to be really high. high Durham's a great stadium. Anyone been to Durham? Anyone seen... Hey, wasn't I just talking about... Uh... Oh, I can't give you guys the answer. That's right, I didn't say what movie it was. Come on, Bloop! Get in there! Get in! I am living right right now. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. God! When you're hot, you're hot. Very early. Horrible pitch selection. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, that's baseball for you. Should we steal? Let's look at his leg kick first, okay? Two outs. Go, Matt. Show your speed. Show the speed. I really wanted to score there. But it's a tight ball game. I can't be an idiot in that situation. Come on, Adam. Adam! Caught. Oh my god, Adam, you got... Matt, coach him up. Up, 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 up. And give him a high five. Matt, give him a high five. Matt. My guy's a douche. Give him a high five, Matt. Okay. Ooh. Damn, this, they keep coming back. All right, I got to hold him here. All right, let's bring the infield in. Bring the infield in. Let's go for the win right now. Bring the infield in, Tommy. Whoa. Why am I playing in? Just turn a double play. No, turn a double play. Wow. Grown man hit that one. Why are we playing in? I want to turn a double play. I don't even know how to throw it home. How do you throw it home? What are we doing, Tommy? Who's setting up the defense, Tommy? Tom. Guys, it's triple A and you're ten games below five hundred and nobody gets this excited, okay? Whiting. I played with a whiting, didn't I? I mean that ball almost hit him in the kneecap. Now look at this defense here. We're playing infield in. We're kind of in like a three depth almost, which is like So what we call the three depth was so you have different depths as infielders. You've got I mean this is how I call it. this is how usually we call that. A one depth is you're in just like, nobody on. You're going to throw to first. You're going to play deep. A two-depth is double-play depth. You're going to be in and over towards the back. A four-depth is you're in on the grass. You're throwing the ball home. All right? And then a three-depth is like a in-between a two and a four-depth. So, 
on a 3-depth, which I don't know if that was a 3-depth. It kind of looked like it, but it was probably a little bit too far in for 3-depth and too far over. A 3-depth would be like a combination 2 and 4, so it's basically as a middle infielder. If I get something hard hit at me that I can turn a double play on, right, you're going to run this with 1st and 3rd. So 1st and 3rd. If it's hit hard at me and I can turn a double play up the middle, I'm going to turn it. If it's hit slow at me, I see a chop or something, so I'm going to come and throw the guy out the plate because I can't turn a double play up the middle. So that would be a three depth. That was like a freaking shit depth. I don't know what that was. That was stupid because listen, you're either in that you're either in that situation based on the runner speed and a little bit the hitter. You're going to be in a three depth. Or for me, in the middle, I'm going to be on a two-depth. I'm just going to move back. I'm going to turn a double play, and we're going to get out of the inning. Like, this is high baseball. This isn't like 10U baseball where you can't turn double plays. Let's see if we're still recording. Guys, we're getting close to an hour here. And my son, I don't even know what time it is, but he hasn't woken up yet. So two things are happening. Well, a couple things could be happening. One... He's sleeping, and my daughter is too. Two, he's running around like a madman, and my daughter is screaming, Mommy! Mommy! And my wife is cursing my name because I'm not. Usually, I'm the one that gets up in the mornings and gets my daughter and my son up. So my wife is uh, doesn't go to bed. She stays up late. She likes to sleep in. I'm the opposite, usually. I usually go to bed early and wake up early. So I usually get the kids up, and then at night, at night, I'm not around Late at night usually because I'm at baseball, so she usually puts the kids to bed. Um, so there's I, there's a lot of things that could be happening right now. Most of them bad, but so far I don't hear any screaming. So hopefully they're sleeping still. It is still pretty early. Oh, the Durham Bills. Sorry, Durham. I said you guys were below 500 by 10 games. You're not. No wonder why you're getting excited. Still probably wouldn't be getting that excited, but. Okay. Anthony Banda, are you real? Yandy Diaz, you are absolutely crushing balls. Is Yandy real? I need to brush up on all my minor leaguers. What is that umping over there? Right at me. It'll be interesting to see if he I'm playing with some real confidence now. I got like that little pep in my step. I mean, if you were hitting 579 with a homer, two homers, one homer, one homer. All right. This looks like Mark Burley on the mound for some reason to me. I don't know why Mark Burley popped into my head, but four seam. Good four seam, pretty confident his curveball. Not so much as his change up, which is odd for a lefty. So four seam curveball guy. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead. That's not a change up, it's a curveball. Change ups don't have a loop in it and break towards a right handed hitter. Score here as we play but apparently in this game it does. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. Throw in time. I am slow. I am not a 70 speed or whatever. I mean, I beat that ball out in real life. Anyway, that's horrible pitch selection. Horrible. You know, I think Sony should have me in. And just let me play the game, sit here and play the game, and let me just read the pitch spins and the, and the movement on the pitches, and let me just confirm that these pitches are moving the right way. I think that's what we have to do. They're going to be like, who the hell is this guy? You haven't played baseball in freaking forever. You're old. and See, now that one, do you see the spin on that one? I'm not going to slow it down, but that was slow spin, spinning this way, kind of like a two-seam, but too slow a spin. The ball's got to spin faster. Just misses inside with the fastball. 2-0, baby. Come right to me. Now, in AAA, this would be a breaking ball, change-up, cutter, if he had one. Even if he doesn't have one, he probably still throws a cutter here. But I'm sitting fastball. Yeah. I mean, can we... We got to get somebody better behind me than Steve. Because I'm getting pitched around. He's fake... He's shaking off 3-0 pitch. What does that mean? 
and that misses ball four, so it's first and They're just nibbling, nibble, 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 because Steve's hitting behind me. Is Steve a real guy? Steve, if you're real, I'm sorry, but I need somebody with a little bit more thump in the bat. Although Steve's not terrible on the road. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number 35, one for one after a single this first time up. Okay, first and second, one out, pinch the middle a little bit more, Matt. I know his lefty's up, maybe not too much. Okay, let's not get crazy, come in a little bit. Get there, two. Oh my God, put a glove on that foot. Jesus, got freaking Marty Brodeur out here playing goalie. It, just catch the ball, dude. That ball was Raleigh Fingers. Cut your mustache, then catch the ball, Raleigh. F. Rodriguez. Anyone with a mustache like that? To, listen, and don't wave the manager back. You can't be crying, <laughs> walking around the mound, and then the manager comes out to check on you with the trainer, and you say, no, 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 stay in. If you want, if you don't want to come out, get your ass back on the mound. Stop limping around like a little, like, never mind. Ah, I got it. I got it. Get away from me. Dude, what are you doing? First of all, that guy's huge. Looks like Aaron Judge. Second of all, why would you run over here and go across me when I'm trying to catch a pop-up? Hold on, everybody. As my daughter would say, whole horses, whole horses, four-seam fastball, horrible slider. That's the definition of a doo-doo slider. Change up, cut. This guy has nothing. He's got a cutter, of course, but it's doo doo. I don't know what to sit on. He has no pitches. Too aggressive, Matt. Too aggressive. Wasn't your pitch. I don't even know what that was. It looked like it had some cut action on it. It was up and away. <sighs> Sometimes, though, you do when you're raking like this. You do kind of get in the mode where you can just hit anything. And you may get a little over-aggressive. Man. Run through the bag, buddy. That guy's slow as shit. And he didn't run through the bag. Double whammy. It does not take any talent to just run through the bag. I still can't remember the umpire's name. I can't say hi to him. Run through. Who is coaching this Durham Bulls team? Managing. This calls for a post-game meeting. I know that they're doing well and they're in first place probably, but I can't stand for this stuff as a manager. Four-seam fastball, slider, changeup, two-seam. By the way. Before I let this guy pitch, I went and watched the minor league game a couple weeks ago. It's painful, in all, in my opinion, it is painful sometimes to watch professional baseball after not seeing it for a while, because it looks like everybody's just lallygagging. Like, and I know that's the way the game is played at a high level for some reason. I, I know why, but just like, oh my god, just act a little bit like you want to be there. I know it's the minor leagues, you're getting paid $800, your body's killing you, it's the end of the season, you want to go home, I know all that stuff, but I don't know, so it was just painful to watch. Alright, this guy's all about his four seam and his slider. This guy's probably got to throw 97. Pitch on the way. Well, hit the but it doesn't matter, because we're chopping in the gap! And this will kick off the base of the wall. Stay there. Do something to celebrate, Matt. Something. Clap your hands. Six game hitting streak, and clearly Matt is keeping track of his stats because he just got so excited that he has a six game hit streak going. You definitely know when you have hit streaks. Maybe not a six game. I probably wouldn't know that I had a six game hit streak going, but you know what you got for Oh, wow. Slow leg kick. I'm stealing. I don't care if there's two outs, I don't care if it's a close game. Steve can't hit me in anyway, so I'm going to steal. Horrible jump. Horrible. Just got in there. It's a bad jump. Matt. Matt, look where you're sliding. Matt. He ran the whole way staring at the catcher. We all know he's going to throw to third. Just put your head down and run. 
Come on, Steve. I'm trying to get over here so I can score in a pass ball because I don't think you're going to hit me in. Is taken for ball two. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Antonelli on third with two out. Come on, Steve. Steve! Man! Even though you're not that great of a hitter, it's still nice to have you hitting behind me instead of Kyle. Kyle does not come through in that situation. All right. Up by three. Back up a little. Right to me. Nice and easy, Matt. Easy. Easy. Run through the bag. You better run through the bag. That's a little bit better. Good job, guys. Guys, we should be killing this team. They don't want to be here. See how we're doing on time. Wow, we've made it quite some ways. 50 minutes. Like they say, time flies when you're having fun. I'm hitting, and it doesn't feel like I've been sitting here for 50 minutes. Let's just pray that the screen recording worked on this one, okay? Because if I sat here for an hour playing and raking and you guys can't see it, I will be mad. Contact versus lefties went down. How did anything regress over this? I guess that's just that one game. Okay, let's see what they called me in here for. Why are they calling me to the clubhouse? Oh, we got to get on the bus. We're going to Gwinnett. Oh, I've played at Gwinnett 8,000 times. I like Gwinnett. Never really hit great there. What are my memories of Gwinnett? Faced Tim Hudson there. He was rehabbing. Never faced him in the big leagues. Um, he's pretty good. Didn't throw hard at this time of his career, late in his career, but everything had movement. I didn't really square anything up. Faced Julio Tehran here a lot. That's all I remember. Uh, let's see. Let's do a couple more shoutouts. Rich, with base running and fielding like that, he'll be back. Rich, I told you before when Ryan commented, I told you to stay off my freaking YouTube, okay? More time in the cage, less time in the comment section of YouTube. Cole Dotridge? I'm horrible with names. I'm sorry, Cole. From that point on, he was known as Matt Ruben Rivera Antonelli on the base pass. That's funny. I don't know how many people here know who Ruben Rivera is and know what his base running looks like, but Ruben's a better base runner than me, unfortunately. It was the worst base running play I've ever seen, but he's still better than me. And let's go last one here. Michael Rimkos, Tom's going to send you back to high school if you keep running bases or keep base running like this. I can't read, but listen, Michael... Now that we're a little bit further into the game here, I know you made that comment before you saw me absolutely just tearing up AAA. I could hit the ball right now and refuse to run bases, and I think I would still stay here because I absolutely am crushing baseballs. All right, what are we going to do here? Should I practice fielding? All right, so like, what does this mean at current cap? People have been saying a lot, like, you got to raise your cap, raise your cap. I'm not sure how to raise my cap. I don't know what that means. Stealing cap? Yes. Please don't make me practice stealing. Oh, God. Is that how I raise my cap? Where it says cap plus two? Okay, let's go. And I'm in the four hole. I'll tell you what. What was my last manager's name in double A? I can't remember, okay? He doesn't even exist to me anymore. Tommy knows what he's doing. See, Aiden moved down. Man, Tommy. Oh, they put the good managers in triple A. That's not true, actually. I've had plenty of great managers in lower levels. I've had some managers I didn't think were... I didn't have any bad managers. But I had some managers that I thought... I shouldn't say that. 
I had a lot of good AAA managers. I had Randy Reddy. Randy Reddy I had for a long time. I had Randy in low A for a little bit. I had him in double A. I had him in triple A. So I got to know Randy really well. And Randy's a really, obviously a really good baseball guy. Um, who else did I have? Man, I had a lot of good. Randy Knorr. Um, RJ, Ron Johnson. I mean, I got, I had a lot of good, a lot of good managers. But I, but I had really good managers in the low levels too. So there are some really good managers, not just in AAA. Okay, four seam sinker, change up slider, standard stuff really. Two outs, man on first. No. A little bit higher than I thought. Round it hard, round it hard. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. <laughs> and inning in the books tonight, still scoring. <sighs> Too aggressive. Got away from my pitch. When I've been hitting best, it's when I've been a, I've been, as the Padres used to say, patiently aggressive. I'm aggressive to my pitch. Matt, unnecessary throw there. What happened here? It's a tough play. Yeah, it's a tough play. Not much I could do right there either. Hey, Charlie! What are you doing down here in AAA, Charlie? Get there. Two, 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 two. I'm here. I'm here. Guys, this is bringing back Gwinnett memories right here. We're not playing in Gwinnett, though. We're at Oak Street Park. But this happened to me in Gwinnett. This did. I put this away. I put this way back. I thought I forgot about it, but this is bringing it back right now. I did this when I was with the Syracuse Chiefs. They put me at shortstop at Gwinnett. I was a horrible shortstop. They put me at shortstop, and I made two errors at Gwinnett on, like, not like that. One was a backhand that I threw away to Ferg. Not threw away. I just threw a little bit off the bag. And then I got an easy ball like that and I made an error. Man, I forgot about that. But that was brutal. I don't know why they were playing me at shortstop. Four seam, sinker, change up, and slider. Come on, get your pitch. That's your pitch, Matt. Uh oh. Someone just woke up. We got to get to. We, I have to get to an hour episode. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Let's check out his leg kick once. Oh my God! You could time that with an hourglass. Man, I wanted him to take that so I could steal. I'm stealing third. First pitch. Let's just hope he goes high leg kick again. But I'm stealing third. And we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were How open on both sides during the, first the pitchers' base. meeting today. Good oh, plan at the plate. A Safe. Too big a leg kick. Get dirty, get dirty, get dirty. Yeah. Into the box now. Gomez. Steal three bases over the next three games. Stealing cap challenge. No one told me that I had that stealing cap challenge, did they? Isn't known for his arm. Here he swipes. My God. Who is that up there? That's got to be my son. It sounds like he's playing tackle football. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he just gets a piece there as this is Chuck. What is he Powell. doing? It's like a marching band. He's going to get me in so much trouble. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Plays off that time and it's 1 and 2. He'll be down here in a second because he's one in my room already and he said, Mommy, where's Daddy? And she said, Playing our road to the show. Go bother your father down in the basement. It helps set up your off speed stuff. And so. Can you guys hear that? I don't know what he's doing up there. I feel like Will Farrell from what was that from? Wedding Crashers. Was that Wedding Crashers? He's like, Ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> I'm playing a video game, dude. He found me. He found me. I am. I'm almost done. This is my last game right here. Yeah, but Matt, I have told you I have to go to the store before she goes to school. All right. I need to leave right now. All right, coming up. Why do you need to go to school? But you need a picture of your own. My wife's got to go to the store. Daddy. 
Yeah. I know you were playing a video game. How did you know? Because I heard it. How'd you hear it? Yes. Yep. I heard it with the door open. What time is it? 8.10 already? Alright. Digging in, Matt Antonelli. No he singled his last what just happened? Man. Matt couldn't get mad there. Antonelli. Okay, let's go. We just gotta go. We gotta get this game over. I'm gonna get yelled at. First pitch coming. Here it is. A bit high there. Who's pitching? Wilson. No Throw me a strike, man. I'm gonna swing an anchor. Santos on second. Johnson at first with no outs. God, nobody out, too. And he watches a call when bears in on him. One I'm all one. flustered, guys. I'm flustered right now. My wife's got to go to CVS. She has to go develop pictures because um, my son needs a picture for class today. A 1-1 one, one home. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Okay. Guy loves his forcing. I should have known that. I didn't check. 1-2. On the all ground. All right, hang on, hang on. Right He's there, right here. There. There's one on the first, so he comes right out left. of the bullpen and gets the double play. Gotta love Good news, guys. We got an hour. Right. I'm about to get my Shipping ass kicked. In, Bartolo but Ochoa. Ochoa. he got on top of one. And... Next appearance. Oh, I'm in an active challenge. Was Bartolo. A victim oh, I don't even know what my active challenge is, but. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, really, this is really gonna make Laura mad. You can see it right now. She wants that picture. One thing you don't do is mess with my son's schooling. Okay. Austin. Digging in. Austin Riley. Now they're gonna make you play defense against every freaking guy in the lineup. Two. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. Guys, can we well, just get it out, please? Pretty special game. I don't That's want my PlayStation broken. Game game okay. Game. Let's go, Matt. Oh, six. Six. I'm going to get two more at-bats. Loves his four seam. I'm all over your four seam right now with the square line. Antonelli. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. And out of here. And I mean by... Love your four seam. I know you're coming with it. And I go square button. That's two for two with two homers with the square button right there. Once again, Charlie Coberson. It was an RBI. I also did get fastballs right down the you know what. The one two. One two. The right. Four four four. But he can't knock it. I dove over the ball. For a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third. So the base is becoming. Hitting is no problem with me, I guess, when I'm feeling. And the like my life is on the line, but eighth batter of the fielding with the bases Can't loaded field. and two away. Four, four, four. Jeez, Louise! And the run is in to score from third. Put the freaking quarter in the merry-go-round. Let's Remind go. Stand in yet again as we flash it back to the middle Second inning. Base. I'm getting crazy here. I'm going to go back. square again on the fourth inning. Solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Oh, yeah. See, this is what happens when you don't have an approach. Get off the square button. See the ball, Matt. See the ball. Behind Saw that one. Now. I always say I'm still going to say that that's more like a breaking ball. I think he could go ahead and eliminate change up pitch. Two right in there. a row back to back. I don't think there'll be a third. That's a slider. Protecting that's a good slider. Two, so good break. We'll do it again. The other one was the change up is more breaking pitch ball. Right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further. Guys, I don't even care. Maybe even I don't even care. That that's how good I've hit today. Okay, get the game over with. Let's go. We got to go to CBS. I need to get a picture. Okay? Let's turn to the club. Guys, it's been great fun today. All right? I'm going to log off quickly. We've been over an hour. I got you your hour episode. I'd like to stay more. Um, but, again, I don't want my controllers hidden, my PlayStation thrown in the trash. Um, and so we're just going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. I'm feeling great about myself. Maybe I won't sleep again tonight and get up nice and early and rake again tomorrow.